that. Um, hey, everyone. I, I know there's been a lot of discussion um, already today, and I'll just kind of share um, my perspective on things. I, I've had a lot of great conversations today. One of the things that we said at the outset um, was that we were going to have the difficult conversations, and, and today provided a lot of opportunity to have those conversations with staff, um, with players, and, and just across the board, a lot, a lot of good chats. Um, I did meet with our team, um, and our clubhouse continues to be united on the same themes that we've been talking about, that racial inequality is completely unacceptable. Um, I support every player, coach, and person in our clubhouse, um, all of our staff, speaking out about their beliefs. And in, in those conversations, I, I encourage them to do so. And I know this is difficult, but I'm not always going to discuss the specifics of those conversations. Um, but I'm certainly happy to share as much perspective as possible. Um, and then we're going to continue to make sure that those discussions take place because we, we all know how tremendously important they are, particularly, um, you know, with the, with the current state of the country. So I'm happy to, to open it up and, and chat about anything you guys would like to chat about. Okay, questions for Gabe. Just a reminder, if you have a question, please use the raise my hand tool, or you can type question into the chat window. We'll give it a minute for questions to populate. Let's go to Alex Pavlovic. Hey, Gabe. Um, Clayton Kershaw and, and some of the other Dodgers just spoke, and, and Clayton said it was a, a collective effort between the two teams and that you guys were in touch. Um, could you take us a little bit through the conversation between you guys and the Dodgers and, and just the decision? Um, we know on their end that Mookie and, and Dave Roberts said they weren't going to participate tonight, but the decision um, from both teams. Yeah, like I said, there was a lot of conversations and, and those conversations took place in our clubhouse uh, with our players, out on the field with our players, um, in in the coach's room. And then also I had a, a quick phone call with, with Dave Roberts. We discussed things. Um, and I know that several of the players both had on both sides in the Dodgers clubhouse and in the Giants clubhouse, they had communication. And then they had, they had meetings and um, so yeah, that's how, how everything came together today. And um, not having any players with you are, you, are you able to tell us if there was anybody who similar to Mookie had told you that they wouldn't play regardless of what the team chose? I didn't have any one individual come to me and, and make that statement. Let's go to Andy Bagley. Uh, hi, Gabe, and also Farhan, if, you're, if you can chime in on this too, if you're still on the call. Um, just what, what we're like, just to get in a little bit further to the mechanics of this. I mean, the Dodgers clearly were not going to take the field. So in essence, uh, it really left you with no choice, but they did say that you were in lockstep really with what they were doing. So did you actually get to a point where you uh, put it to a vote? And, and if you did, I mean, is it one of those things where it's majority rules kind of a deal? Or, or I mean, just how, how do you arrive at the decision to not play? Yeah, no, there was no, there was no formal vote. Um, and, and like I said, a lot of conversations where groups were getting, getting together and, and talking through things. That was, that was the mechanics of it. Harry Crowley. So knowing that Gabe, would you guys have played if you were playing a different team that was going to take the field tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, an impossible question to answer um, because of all the, the variability that was going on today. Um, the, one, the one thing I'll say is we, we continue to support people's rights, um, players' rights to, to speak up and, and to express themselves. And uh, certainly that's exactly how I feel about our players. Uh, would you personally have managed, uh, had, you, had your team decided to end up playing a game today? Uh, that, that wasn't a question that I had to, to answer and I didn't really have to think about it. So, I mean, that's certainly something that I'll give some thought to and share with you. Thank you. Sure. Dan Pasco. Hey, Gabe, is there anything you want to tell the fans to kind of reassure them that you guys are doing the best things you can to do to make sure Black Lives Matter? Yeah, no, I, I just continue to reiterate some of the themes that I talked about a, a, a little bit earlier today, Sam, um, and some of the things that I mentioned at the outset of this call, which is 
that our, our clubhouse is com completely united, that, that racial inequality is completely unacceptable. We're gonna continue to have the difficult conversations and, and draw out the back and forth where people are able to express themselves freely and openly. Thank you. Back to Kerry. Uh, do you expect to play tomorrow? Yeah, as of right now, uh, we have a, a one o'clock scheduled doubleheader. Got it, thanks. Go to Mark Sanchez. Hey Gabe, uh, you talked about reaching a collective decision. I mean, I know the, the Cardinals were playing without uh, Fowler and Jack Flaherty. Was something like that ever an option or was it gonna be you know everyone together or, or not? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we discussed whether it would be a, a handful of players or you know, a group of players. I think those conversations, um, they, they were happening in groups, but I imagine they were happening individually as well. Um, and again, like player, these are, um, there's kind of the individual right to protest, which happens in, in a, a situation like maybe kneeling during the national anthem. And then there's, you know, collective protests, which are a little bit more nuanced and, and, um, and just kind of different. Anything else for Gabe? Let's go back to Andy. Um, yeah, Gabe, just uh, touching on that. I mean, this is such a unique situation, uh, obviously. Anytime that MLB has had a um, sort of an, an orchestrated campaign uh, to, to send a message out there, whether it's stand up to cancer or anything social or, or, or societal, uh, it's always been, you know, 100% participation kind of a deal. And, and you've got teams obviously making different decisions on the same day. Um, I mean, just what is this day, do you think, like, what does it mean? Uh, um, is, is it going to be kind of a historic day, do you think, long term? Yeah, so um, one, one thing, and this is, I don't think this is exposing any one particular conversation, but since, um, since you're bringing it up, I, I did have a conversation with, with one of our coaches today, and it was, it was a group conversation, but the coach brought it up, which was like, this is going to, these, these days are gonna keep happening. Um, and so every day is going to present an opportunity for us to continue to have these conversations. Uh, there are going to be more days where um, systemic racism and social injustice, social injustices are exposed and become national stories. And, and every time that happens, we have a decision to make because we have uniforms on and we have these very powerful platforms about how, how to use them to, to make change. And I think, you know, we said some of that in our, our the, the Giants and the Dodgers statement, um, but I'll just reiterate it here. Like we have a tremendous amount of influence because we work in professional sports and every time um, a, a, a new story surfaces about, you know, racial inequality in our country, we have a, a great opportunity to talk about it. And we have a responsibility to talk about it on those days. So this coach was just bringing to light that, you know, today is not, you know, the last day that we're going to get to have the tough conversation, and and we should embrace it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis now that we have the opportunity to do so. Back to Alex. Yeah, um, I mean, we spoke to you earlier. We understand how passionate you are about this, and, and also your coaching staff. Um, I, we don't have any players here. We, we did hear from three on the Dodgers. Uh, are you able to just give us a sense of whether anybody did speak up or any of your players did feel particularly strongly um, about the fact that they shouldn't play tonight? What I, what I can share with you is that, um, you know, when you're when you're dealing with 26 personalities in a, in a major league clubhouse, you're going to have – you know, you're gonna have differing viewpoints and differing opinions. I don't think that's that's any secret. But I think what's really cool about um, the day and age that we're in is, is players are using their platforms to express themselves. Um, and, and in exactly the way they, they want to express themselves in exactly their own words. And I think we saw that um, around opening day and we've seen them uh, in when we've had nationally publicized incidents, players coming out and, and saying exactly what's on their minds. I don't think this situation is gonna be any different, but I also wanna respect their right to express themselves in exactly the way they, they see fit. It's kind of the theme that we've, we've touched on the most, which is we're gonna support our players speaking up and utilizing their platform to do good work. Um, we saw players do that um, on, on several different occasions. I expect that 
players are gonna are gonna use their platforms to speak up. Henry. Yeah, I I know this is maybe going after the same question over and over again, but just to be, you know, blunt, I mean, with no players talking to us tonight and you doing, you know, you not wanting to betray what goes on inside the clubhouse, I, I still haven't heard anything that tells me that the Giants decided to not play this game today. It could have very well been that they, that you did and, the Dodgers sort of made the decision for you. It's all, it's so much up to interpretation. Whereas with the other teams in the NBA and in MLB that, um, that didn't play today, we, we pretty much got a firm statement of, of, you know, how they felt about it. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I think it's kind of important to know that. And I mean, any light you could shed on that beyond what you you've done without betraying the confidences of the clubhouse, I, I think would be very helpful. No, I, I think that's totally fair. I mean, how do you think I haven't shed light on it? Like, what is it? What is it specifically that? Like, do do you think it's fair that I want I want the players to be able to speak for themselves and feel like they can't they can and will? Well, yeah, I think that's totally fair, and I think it's also is it fair for me to ask what you know that we didn't have any players here to to discuss it? Um, but what I mean, you, you look. You're, you're doing the best job you can to, to, to walk a balancing act. I get it. I think we all get that. Okay. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't know that any of us here in, in the press want to know an exact vote total or, you know, if you, or, or how many people were in favor and how many were against, but it's still, it's still hard to get a sense of, 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 of where the giants actually, where the giants players actually were. And, and if you can, you know, kind of figure out a way that we can, you know, maybe get to get to some players tonight uh, to find out. I, I think it would be very helpful. I think that's fair. I, I understand. I understand that perspective. And um, as always, and I think I've, I've been pretty consistent with this, Henry. I'll do that again tonight. I'll, I'll think about how to help with that. Thank you. Sure. And last one to John Shea. Yeah, Gabe, um, you talk about, you know, putting words into actions. Is, is this an example? I think every, every opportunity is, is an example. And I think today was a, a, a great opportunity for, for people to put words into actions. And um, yeah, I mean, I think the direct answer to your question is yes. And what about tomorrow, next week? next month why is today different and why uh you know will, will will anything you do in the future uh come back to this day and and, and make you act so I, I think when we when we first started peacefully protesting uh with respect to the national anthem and when people were kneeling we said that every day was going to be a decision right and i think I think every day then when the national anthem plays it it still is a decision where people where whether people on our club in our clubhouse want want to kneel whether they want to stand whether they want to um peacefully protest in in some other way um yeah i don't i don't want to you know go over it too many times but that conversation that i had with the coach was a really good example every time um there's there's outrage every time there is dissatisfaction with the current state of, of our system, with the, every time there's dissatisfaction with systemic racism, is another opportunity to say something, to support Black people, to stand up for marginalized people, to make statements, and to take action steps. So today is another awesome opportunity. Obviously, um, the Jacob Blake, Wisconsin incident was horrific. And we have the opportunity on a day like today to talk about it. Um, and, and even at the expense of baseball, which is really a really powerful thing. Um, so we're gonna have, we're gonna continue to have that opportunity when more things pop up. Um, and, and at that point we'll have we'll have decisions to make about how we want to handle it. 
you know, uh, Gabe, Dave Roberts said he wouldn't have managed today if there was a game. Mookie Betts and, we're, you know, I had de technical difficulties early. Were, were you in favor of not playing today? I, I, I understand, you know, position on, on this one. I think that this is one that is I'm continuing to digest and work through. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm I, I am in favor of protesting racism, systemic racism and, and inequality across the board. I'm in favor of standing up and strongly protesting those things. Does that supersede your job as a manager of the Giants? I think they can coexist. In fact, I think being a manager, the manager of the Giants gives me an opportunity to have this conversation with you and, and, and to make strong statements and, and to do it on a regular basis. One of the things that came up in, in today's discussion is, you know, I get to have conversations with this group of, of writers um, twice a day. And so there, there are going to be no shortage of opportunities for me to, to speak my mind and to stand up for what I believe in. Um, sometimes on on behalf of, of the Giants, sometimes on behalf of the players, and and sometimes on just just behalf of, from from my own perspective. And so I think you know part of what you're what you're experiencing here is is me kind of blending my own personal position on a lot of these matters, and I think that's shared by uh, our players respecting their want and. Um, ability to, to speak for themselves and make statements on their own behalf. And just one last thing, Slater being hurt uh, as the player rep, Tony Watson, the assistant player rep, was he the liaison between management and the players? What do you mean, was he the liaison between? Was uh, it, well, I, you know, I, I, you guys, you, you know, you and um, Farhan and you know, spoke with him, you know, on the field for quite a while. And I was wondering if, if, if he, uh, came back with you uh, to you with the general feeling of the team and yeah. you know a decision was made from there or was it one big room full of people discussing things so I had I had a conversation with a group of position players out on the field um, yeah. I had more than one conversation with the entire group of players in the clubhouse and I had an additional conversation with um, our coaches, as well as staying in close contact with our front office throughout the day. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Gabe. Sure. Okay, there's no more questions in the queue. So Gabe, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.